Yes, guys, how to find low competition digital products on Etsy. Let's go. So, guys, um, basically, look, I'm going to show you a really, really simple way of finding low competition, if you like, niches or things to sell on Etsy really quickly. Right. So just just have a look at this. But obviously, before you do this, you really need to invest in something like an SEO software. You know, I use uh, I've got Everbee. Everbee is fantastic for product analytics, keyword research. Check it out and link in my description free trial and it helps you really find um, good products that you could quickly rank in, you know, things that are not so saturated. Now, I'm going to show you another way of actually finding um, products that you could sell, digital products, where it's not saturated and it's not just full of, if you like, sellers. And this is very important because I think to get in very quickly and to get into a, a, a sort of niche, if you like, or a category or a subcategory quickly, it allows you to establish yourself and then you can rank. So I think if you look at this digital, everyone knows digital planners are fantastic. Um, people love it. You know, you can you can very quickly do it on Canva. Um, so this is Canva. It's really easy to do. And guys, like I said, if you want to check out the softwares and try it out, I've got Canva link in my description. But look, at the end of the day, it, you know, this is very, very, it's quite saturated, right? There's quite a lot of sellers um, selling on this. Now, the thing about this is, I, my belief is this, you need to go into a category that sells, but you need to go into the subcategory. So what I mean by that is this. Now, this has 26,000, uh, let's say, results on this digital planners, editable, right? Popular. What you'd need to do is you need to go into a subcategory of this. So what I've done here is I've typed in digital paycheck planner. OK, now this is becoming more and more popular, but it's still not it's not saturated yet. There's still room to sell. So this has come up with, say, 3,431 results. You know, looking across, you can see, you know, there's people that are able to rank on this with not so many reviews, which is a good sign. Um, and also the other thing is you can also see that it can be priced quite well. You know, you've got people that have got planners, um, uh, these digital plans from 13, 14 pounds, five pounds, you know, six pounds, seven pounds. There's a there's a big variety there, which is also good to see um, because it allows you to kind of put a price point that you want and to make enough profit. Um, look, paycheck planner look at this but but also you want something that can be quite simple to do and not too tricky and difficult something that you could do like i said in canva uh, and you could do this quite easily guys in canva so you know if you just use this as an example i know it's pretty cheap um, but look it just gives you an idea 54 there's a demand for it 54,000 sales um, but yet it's not you know like i said you can still get into this market uh, selling at one pound eighty at fifty percent off, you know. But even with that, even with that, but look at it. It's the simplest thing. Six color schemes, multiple sizes. But the simplest thing, a paycheck uh, budget planner. Look how easy it is to 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 actually create this. You can create this literally in five minutes. But look, this person's selling fifty four thousand. What this tells me is that obviously there's a demand. But also maybe, you know, in terms of like competition, there's not enough competition. So that person's able to sell a lot. So this is exactly what I mean. You need to go into these big niches like a wedding niche, um, like a like a planner, digital planner niche, and then actually get into that, into a get into a sub niche like like I've done, like a paycheck niche into a but or a budget planner niche. Um, you know, you have to get into the into kind of subcategory. And this is so important, guys, because there's so many subcategories out there. And I've spoken about this before many a time. And I've spoken about the wedding niche, how like when you got wedding invitations, but really what you should try to get to is away from the wedding invitations and go into a sub niche. So, for example, I'll just show you very quickly. You've got the digital wedding invitations with 146. I've spoken about this before, 146,000 results, guys. Crazy, right? But then if you go into a subcategory, into something called the wedding weekend itinerary templates, where it's about 2,671 results. But yet, you can sell pretty well in these. So, 
it's important and I believe it's good to get into a good niche that is already established in the digital selling kind of world. But you need to get into something where you can actually get into a subcategory. And the subcategory is where you're going to be able to actually make the money because you know that is where you're going into something that has less competition. Look, a workout planner, you know, another subcategory of the digital planner. So, you know, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what you need to do. So what I personally do is, apart from, you know, looking at something like Everbe, uh, where they, when you can do that research, is if you type in something that you know of, like a digital planner, and then all you need to do, for example, is insert a word inside between um, where it's something slightly different, like a budget planner, paycheck planner, another word, and then just see and see what the results look like. See how many people are selling. See, the, Look at the reviews. See how many reviews there are. See how many players there are. And, and then you'll get a, a good feel for how, how if you can get in there or not. And also make sure that it's something quite easy to do, quite simple. If you know about Canva, use it. Yeah, so that is a way of actually finding a really good category or niche uh, or low competition um, category to sell in for digital planners, guys. That's the best way to do it. But have a go, have a look, and let me know how you get on. But like I said, guys, check out my playlist in a, in a, uh, with uh, all the other Etsy videos that I talk about. And guys, check out my softwares. And I've got all the softwares that I just regularly use for everything that I do. Check it out in the link in my description. And guys, if you did like this video, um, please hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. And don't forget to drop me a comment below. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.